we've got. Oh, can't wait. Oh, you're going to make me do stuff, aren't you? Follow at me if you need some help. I guess. There you go. Hey, this place is beautiful. But I did have, I did see like uh, other planets that look more beautiful than this. But this is just, it's more beautiful because. There's just a lot of shit in it. You know, it's living. We're gonna have an incident today. I'm on a top secret mission. Pretty nice. Hey. Damn it. Please tell me that seeing you here is just a coincidence. You know I'm here, but it's not Ryujin that wants you dead. It's Bayou. I knew it. I knew that job was going to come back to haunt me. But but I, I'm also still alive, which which means you're willing to talk, right? Look, you promised you'd listen. You just hear me out. Calm down. That that promise is precisely why you're still standing here. And I am so grateful you remembered because. Uh, I do very much enjoy living. Working at Ryujin taught me I always needed a backup plan. I have a place. It's not in the settled systems, so it'd be almost impossible to track me. Just, just let me go there, and no one will ever hear or see me again. Okay. Well, huh. but if I catch a whiff of you in a settled system, you're dead. <laughs> no. All right, but be careful. If anyone hears of this, we're both dead. Yeah, I'm more than familiar with the situation. I'll leave as soon as I'm able, which is only a matter of hours. Thanks for listening. I guess now we both know I never got that damn promotion. All right. That man said the job was gonna come back and hunt me. Yeah. All right, time to go. Oh! What's this way? This is pretty nice. worried about my beach body until I spoke with that lady at Enhance here. Not to be a downer, but this place is almost too perfect, right? What do you mean by that? Oh, this Hello, is ladies. even better than in the brochure! If I could just stay here forever, I would. Oh yeah, get your swimsuits. I 
I wish I had booked a stay for longer. There are so many activities I'm looking forward to doing, but I'm just having a good time relaxing. I can see that, ma'am. Wow. Hey. Ah, come here for a little R and R, huh? Again, an R and R ship. This is nice. This is damn nice. Hey. Hello. I'm just glad I don't work on the luxury cruisers that bring people here. Why not? Oh, I got sand in my shoes again. Oh, I mean, hi. Sorry. Why aren't you wearing sandals? Why the hell are you wearing shoes? Hey there. Yeah, can I buy something? I'm fairly new here, so sorry in advance if I screw something up. Well, you already screwed something up. You're not wearing sandals. Scram. I ain't in the mood. Ain't in the mood. What's wrong with you? What's got you so upset? Unless you're here to liquor me up or sell me drugs, you're no use to me. You better watch your mouth, boy. You don't want to lose an eye, do you? I'm not much of a beach person, but oh. everyone talks about this place, so I had to see for myself. Mm, me too. I gotta see for myself too. And I, you kind of look weird, but I like your body. Kinda. I don't know. What do you think, Lynn? Lynn, do you even know what a vacation is? The hell you doing? Now walk it out, walk it out, now walk it out, now walk it out, now what's that walk it out? No, he's not walk it out. That's what Lynn was doing. She was doing a walk it out. Walk it out like Lynn. If you don't know it, then she probably won't trust you. We gotta go. We gotta go. We spent too much time. Well, it's fine while it lasted. We'll be back, most definitely. If I can remember to come back. It's any restricted areas. Hey, buddy. Ah, back from doing Administrator Bayou's little favor. Yeah. Hang on. Uh, I dealt with the operator. You can tell Bayou it's done. Okay? Good. I'll send word to Bayou that right, amendments have been made. So for all that background now, noise. get back to more important matters. I reevaluated all the evidence. It took every resource I had, but the final answer is clear. Ularu is the mole. Yeah, I knew she was innocent. Yes, you made the right call. I've briefed yeah, Masaka team. and discussed her plans on handling. While we both agree Ularu is guilty, we need irrefutable evidence before presenting this to the board. For now, we lead everyone to believe that Imogene was the mole. The situation was dealt with. Okay. Pudding. Pudding. Pretend Imogene. <laughs> Pretend Imogene was the mole, so you were, so you were Laru? Uh, won't get suspicious. Got it, got it, got it. Good. Keeping Olaro in the dark is the key mm -hmm. to taking her down. Masako has tasked Olaro with writing the program to bring down Infinity LTD. We believe she'll take the chance to incriminate Masako within the program. So this could provide the evidence we're looking for. Mm. You will be tasked with the assignment to infiltrate Infinity. So before you go, I want you to bring that program to me. Okay. Okay. All right. Hmm. Huh. Whatever program Yularo gives me is yours. There's no way she frames Masako too. Hmm. What if there's nothing incriminating on this program? Then we'll have to find another way to build a case against Ularu. Ularu. Won't be easy. Okay. Well, all right. <laughs> Ooh, Lara fooled you before. What makes you think she can find something else on this, uh... What makes you think you can find something else on this program? If I can't find hidden code on a single slate, I certainly deserve to be fired. And kill. Ularu is limited in what she can hide here. Plus, she'll have no reason to believe anyone will be looking in the first place. 
All right, all right, all right. Good. Once Ularu believes she's properly deflected any suspicion, I have no doubt she'll be bold enough to hide something within whatever program she writes. Okay. Now, let's attend a meeting. Oh, no. All right. Hey! I'm Whoa! In our appearance. Whoa! If only ah, that's much here. Hours in the day. <sighs> hey! We called you all together to discuss a recent security breach. We discovered a mole within the company who leaked vital information about Project Dominion to Infinity LTD. You've got to be kidding me. Just don't tell me it's Vina. I think we've all noticed she's not here. Before you speculate any further, no, it's not Vina. The guilty party is Imogene Salzo, much to my disappointment. Our operative here obtained the evidence to confirm it. Um... Yeah, Imogene confessed to working with the Infinity LTD. Dalton, how does something like this happen? Imogene is highly trained. Ularu can even speak to that. We demand the best. So that's the threat we deal with. I may have well-trained operatives, but security is your responsibility, Dalton. This is a huge failing on your part. I accept the responsibility, but let's not forget. The mole has already been exposed and dealt with. Of course, thanks to another of my operatives. Hmm. We can't blame Dalton for this. He's just doing his part. Watch me. Imogen's been dealt with, so bickering is pointless. All I care about is reacquiring our property and what this might be costing us financially. Vina is completing the internal NeuroAmp prototype as we speak. Our operative will receive the implant infiltrate Infinity LTD and obtain any and all research. I have it on good authority the experimentations they've done to replicate the missing pieces of our work have resulted in fatalities. Hmm. They're performing a League of Human Trials at the clinic. Let's not forget the... Infinity hired mercenaries to kill all personnel at CM Station RC1. Botched human trials and murder for hire? Murder? You don't bounce back from that. At least not with Infinity's legal team. If I may make a suggestion, we should give this evidence to David at SSNN. It's the best neutral method of releasing this information to the general public. That'd make my job easier. David, it is then. <laughs> The internal neuroamp is ready if you want to send down the candidate. Thank you, Vina. I'll send her down immediately. I hope you're ready for this. Oh, I am. And that's precisely why I know we can count on you. Vina will be waiting for you in the neuroamp division in R&D. Once you're done, meet me in my office. Be ready to discuss the details of your next assignment. All right. Lynn. Was there no other chair? You could have sit there, there. You could have sit right beside me. What's wrong with you? What is wrong with you, man? I got my fingers deep in you. Oh, you clean your face. You're not working in the mines no more. Girl, you need to take bad bone. You need to clean your stank and that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Are you sure you're okay? You left pretty far. You sure you're okay? Are you sure you're okay? Hey! I don't think those measurements are right. Anesthesia always makes me nervous. Hey, what's up? Practices without human oversight. Mm. Ah. Here's my lucky candidate. I hope you're ready to embark on one amazing journey. 
Um, sure. Can I take this off after I'm done? Would it? What this supposed to do again? The internal neuroamp is basically the next leap in our line of influential amplifiers. It gives the user dominion over a less dominant target, meaning you can heavily influence another person's thoughts and actions. Damn! You mean like Star Wars? My control? Like if I if I say you have to you have to have sex with me now, Vera? Would you you will just have to do it? Hey, let's not get carried away there. That terminology is a bit heavy-handed. So, are you ready to get started? Yes. Yes. Yes, I am. Yes. I always love a willing subject. Now, just a few details before we begin. Obviously, we'll be putting you under. I'll be making a small incision in the back of your skull where the internal neuroamp is. Right, 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 right. The whole procedure should only take three to four hours with little to no damage. Three to four hours! Provided DeMarcus got everything entered correctly. Did I not just say I quadruple check the numbers? You know I'm just giving you a hard time. Besides, I've got to make sure my patient is reassured. Oh. What, are, what are the risks here? There's little to no risk, assuming your brain is typical and you don't have any adverse reaction to the anesthesia. First sign of trouble, we back out and start evaluating other candidates. Good. Okay, I believe you. You kill me, I'm gonna come back and kill you, okay? Of course. We've got, what, five PhDs between the two of us? Six, but who's counting? All I'm saying is that you're in good hands. Now, just lie down on the table once you're ready, and we should be good to go. How much money you make? Warning. I'm just this curious. This unit is not suited for addressing mental health concerns. If you guys make a lot of money anyway, then hell, I'll be living in the yard. Lynn. Let's get this party started. Okay, here we go. Uh, oh, Crystal. Yes, the crystal is mine. Huh? Pack you weak minded fool, avert your gaze, or you'll go crystal crazy! Ah, uh, you better give it back. Cortex, come here. Crash. Look at this guy. Come on! We gotta get out of here, you idiot. What? Well, what well, happened? Look who's finally up. The operation was a success, obviously. Once you're able to refocus, let me know how you're doing. A crash bandicoot. I was there again. I was there. I was so happy. Why did you wake me up? Oh. It's good to see you again. You uh, appear dehydrated. Uh, why did you wake me up? I kind of, I kind of, I kind of want to, I want to, I want to go back. I want to go back. It was, it was crash. I was there. I was there. Hello. Come so, on. How are you feeling? You look good. Yeah. Was it a success? Huge success. No surprises. No signs of rejection. You were the ideal subject. Now, we just keep our fingers crossed and hope no unknown side effects come creeping in later. Okay. I wanna go back. I was there with Crash Bandicoot. I wanna go back. That's exactly what we want. Yeah. Just a couple quick notes before using the internal neuroamp. First, you can only influence one person at a time. And second, the effect is temporary. So be prepared if you use it in a combat situation. Okay. Great. Now let's test this sucker out. Demarcus has graciously volunteered for science, he says. All right. That's the spirit. Demarcus loves being hands-on and experiencing things on his own. 
It's probably why he's the second most published scientist here, after me. Just head up the stairs nearby to the observation deck. Uh, what? I have performed a cursory scan of your vital signs. You are currently Blair. alive. Ugh. I got a headache. I feel like I've been hit by a truck. By someone threw a lump of fruit right in my head. What? Opening a scanner? Okay. Why? Hey, the Marcus! What do you want me to do to you, huh? What do you want me to do? Marcus! What can I do to you? Manipulation. <laughs> How you doing? Marcus. Marcus. Where you going, Marcus? Intimidation. Ooh. It didn't work. It did not work. Okay. Use manipulation on the markers to find a way to open a door. Well, I did use manipulation on him. Go to that door, Marcus. Hey, I'm talking to you. Pick that up. It ain't working for me. Get that. And open the door. Open that door. Open that door. Good. Now. Ow. I want you. Hmm. I want you to attack. Huh. <laughs> Now the door is open, I want you to attack. Now. Do it now. Attack him. Oh, it ain't gonna work like that. <laughs> the individual's busy. I'm sure she is. She's pissed right now. How long is she gonna stay like this? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Hey, are you oh my okay? God, that was incredible. What was it like? Wow. How to describe it? Why are you pointing? For one minute, I was excited about seeing how the experiment would go. The next, I had a brief moment of disorientation and figured I must have lost my train of thought. It felt eerily natural. Your fingers are different and colors. Yes, I admit it, just as you predicted. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it! Hardly wait to finish writing up my latest dissertation. <laughs> you owe me credits. I'll be keeping myself under constant surveillance now. I'm curious if any other side effects may manifest. Wow, that face is so detailed. That boy got the eyebrows and everything. He's got like a third eyebrow. Look, you see, that's one, there's two. Hold your head. Hold your head still. Come on now. He's oh, he's embarrassed. I filed out his secret. Look. See? So he has one eyebrow, that's two, and then he's got like one right there. See how it's like a d detached from that one? It's on its own little island. Wow. Hey. 
effects. What? Tell me all about it. How did it feel? Any side effects? Hmm. Didn't feel like anything at all to me. Yes. Good. Hear that, Demarcus? That's two for two now. I heard. I heard. It really was fascinating how all I experienced was a moment of disorientation. It's truly remarkable tech. I agree. This opened up a lot of possibilities, like sex. When it comes to your job, you bet it does. Uh, besides, the neural elm isn't total control. If a subject's morals or beliefs in something are strong enough, we still see points of failure. Uh -huh. That being said, it's been interesting to discover the actions our subjects sanction in their own minds. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. As much as I'd love to go over the details and potential of this amazing piece of technology I created, Masako wants to see You it. created? It sounds like you have an assignment to complete. And Demarcus and I have a lot of notes to Man, you didn't create this. I did. Oh, Masako told me about imaging. It's completely irrational, right? I think I'll be processing this one for a long time. You must take your clothes off in front of everybody. Bye. Do it. Do it now. Actually. Ah oh, man, in Fallout, you used to be able to pickpocket their clothes off. How long would you look like naked? Probably weird. You must kill everybody that lives in your house. Watch your fingers. Lots of dangerous machines around. You must start fingering yourself right now in front of him and ask him if he would like to join in. This ain't working. Help! Somebody help this me! What I do? Oh, oh. 